so finally after test riding the royal enfield mrn 450 i could made a video answering to all your replies and request of comparing the tram scram the 400 x and the royal enfield mrn 450 please also note that the test rides were only made in the city so without further ado let's start the video comparing the first point the engine both the motorcycles make same power which is about 40 bhp but the himalayan 450 has 2.5 nm of more torque due to its bigger 450 engine both the bikes make adequate power for the city highway and off-road himalayan 450 has an edge over the scrambler on the highway due to its bit more refined engine better engine capacity engine also stays relatively at lower revs compared to the scrambler to cover that up, Scrambler's engine is best suited for the city with its very light throttle, peaky performance for quick overtakes and can also shine on the off-road trails. Both the bikes accelerate decently fast for 400 and 450cc segment. It feels that the Scrambler 400 catches speed till 110, 120 faster than the Himalayan 450 but the Himalayan 450 can maintain those speeds more easily than the Scrambler. Both the engines return approximately same fuel economy figures around 30 kmpl if ridden sanely. I suspect that the Scrambler should have an edge over the Himalayan as it is lighter because I have received the fuel economy of around 33 to 34 kmpl while touring on my Speed 400. But the Himalayan 450 can easily compensate that with its much larger fuel tank of 17 liters compared to the 13 liters on the Scrambler. Next up is the brakes. Both the motorcycles have decent stopping power. Both the motorcycles have switchable dual channel ABS. Both have 320mm disc at the front. Himalayan 450 has a 2 piston caliper and the Scrambler 400 has a 4 piston caliper. At the rear, Himalayan 450 has a bigger 270mm disc compared to the Scrambler's 230mm disc. I still feel that the Scrambler 400 stops slightly better than the Himalayan 450 on the tarmac due to its less weight, more agile 19 inch front and the bigger contact patch at the front. Also Scrambler has less nose drive compared to the Himalayan 450 while stock. Talking about the nose drive, how is the suspension? In the suspension front, both the motorcycles have 43 mm upside down forks at the front and the monoshock at the rear. But the Himalayan 450 has a clear edge over the Scrambler in the highway comfort and hardcore off-road riding department due to its longer travel. Being that said, both the bikes can handle city potholes with ease without any problem. Look at it, go over the bumps. And I am flying, literally flying. Like on the roads, the road undulations, the road joints, the bumps, it handles very well. It handles very well. No problem at all. Next question, how is the handling? Scrambler is a clear winner as it's lighter in weight, very sharp and agile in the traffic. Himalayan 450 feels heavy, big and long in the parking lot, tight spaces and heavy traffic. But once it starts moving and catches the speed, it feels light and confident. This is also due to the 19 inch front setup on the Scrambler versus the 450 having the 21 inch front wheel setup. Also the Scrambler 400X has an alloy wheels with tubeless tires and the Himalayan has a tube spoke. Tubeless can have easy puncture fix, but to compensate Himalayan 450 as a center stand, which Scrambler misses out on. This has a 19 inch setup at the front and 17 at the rear. So, due to this, the. Yes. Bobia, you turn Kashi Marte, Gadi. Easy, easy, easy. Lamb, eh? Turning radius, cook. Lamb, one, Pirate Gadi. Point, okay, easy, eh? A balance over okay with the finite equal. Next up, the build quality, fit and finish. Both are well-made motorcycles, but in this scrambler is much better than the Himalayan with its more attention to detail, better paint quality, hidden wires, in spite of having minimal body panels. Even the quality of the bolts and other small bits are very premium. What about the extra features? The Himalayan 450 has more extra features compared to the Scrambler like the TFT display, GPS, call and SMS alert. Both the motorcycles have dual channel ABS with the off-road mode. The Himalayan 450 has riding modes and Scrambler 450 has switchable traction control. This was just a quick comparison of both the motorcycles. We have more detailed video on each of the motorcycles on our channel covering all the detailed information. 
do mind checking out those videos for details information and detailed review i will see you guys in the next vlog till then quite safe and privacy